By now, you're hopefully beginning to see that the application of good technique is the key to becoming a better bass player. After all, this is why I'm choosing to devote some time now to share with you my ideas and methods. I firmly believe that taking the time to better your technique can only help you developing your playing at a far greater rate in the future, as you'll already have a solid foundation to build upon. So, continuing on, let's take a look at our fretting hand, how we fret notes and how to be more efficient. Similar to how we looked at the plucking hand, I also want to start by asking you to fully extend your fretting hand out in front of you at shoulder height. Again, tense up your arm and hand like this, really reaching out and spreading the fingers. OK, now fully relax your arm and hand and allow your fingers and thumb to drop naturally. Really focus on how this feels and in particular how easy it is to move your fingers when the hand is nice and relaxed. Go on, take a moment and just wiggle your fingers. Try to move them just from the knuckle joint like I'm doing and notice how any movement here feels really fluid and free. Now, it's worth remembering that your fretting hand should feel no different to this when you're actually fretting and playing notes on your bass. Going back to our relaxed hand shape, notice how there's a space that occurs naturally between our thumb and fingers. Keeping this shape and your hand totally relaxed, I want you to turn your arm over and then offer your hand up to the neck of the bass so that the neck now sits in the little space like this. Now, just allow your hand to fall slightly down across the neck until your thumb is somewhere near the middle. Take some time to get used to how this looks and also feels. Try sliding this hand shape up and down the fingerboard, but make sure you're still focusing on keeping your hand and fingers totally relaxed. You shouldn't be trying to hold onto the neck. In a very similar way to our plucking hand, See how I use my thumb to anchor the relaxed hand shape on the neck. This allows us to pivot the hand either up or down the length of the fingerboard without us having to reach with the fingers. I hope you can see that by overreaching with the fingers, we'd introduce more tension into the fretting hand, which is something that we should always try to avoid where possible. Remember that by keeping your fretting hand nice and relaxed and learning to rid the hand of any unnecessary tension is such an important skill to possess. So many players learn to play without even paying attention to how their hands feel and when they're playing the bass they wonder why they can't sustain their playing for long periods of time. Playing with unnecessary tension in either hand is a surefire way of making yourself more prone to stress-related injuries. Most newcomers to the bass believe that fretting a note is just a simple case of holding down the string anywhere in the space between the frets and that's it. Now, don't get me wrong, this is partly true, but thinking and applying a technique like this can, in my opinion, only limit your development on the instrument. Remember, good technique is essential if we want to move forward. So. Here's an exercise that really looks into how we fret notes and teaches you that being efficient is always best. OK, I'd like you to put your index finger on fret 5 of the A string and fret this note right in the centre like this. Now really bury your index finger into the fingerboard as you hold the string down. Don't worry, this won't be for long. With the string held down firmly, play this note Keep playing the note repeatedly, and as you do, ever so gently reduce the amount of force you're using to fret the note. Now, it's important to do this really slowly. What we want to do is just get to a point where this note starts to buzz. You can see that my index finger isn't suddenly lifting off the fingerboard, as the movement is much, much smaller than that. Instead, I'm ever so slowly reducing the force applied onto the string until I get to a point where the string just starts to buzz against the fret. Now that the string's buzzing, I just want you to reapply a little more force to take the buzz completely away so that we can again hear a nice and clear note. 
What I want you to do is find the point where the buzz just begins to happen and then associate this with a force that you're applying onto the string with your finger. Just take a moment now to do this and once you're happy that you can distinctly feel and remember how much force you're using, move on. Fretting the same note, I'd this time like you to move your index finger so that it's tight up against the fifth fret like this. Again, press your finger hard onto the string and play the note. What I'd like you to do now is just repeat the entire process. Once again, as you play the note, slowly decrease the pressing force that you're applying onto the string. For the second time, it's our aim just to get this note to buzz. Can you hear it start to happen again? Keep altering the pressure in your finger so that you can learn to control when the string just begins to buzz. Now, take a mental note of how much force you're applying this time and compare it to how much force you were using when we fretted the note right in the middle of the fret. Hopefully you've noticed a big difference. To summarise, wherever possible you want to be fretting notes right up against the fret wire. This is because we can use a lot less force to actually play a note that has both good tone and is free from any buzzing. Hopefully, in this simple exercise, you've seen just how little pressure you really need to apply to a string when you fret it. Using less pressure has the added benefit of helping us keep the fretting hand nice and relaxed, which we know is important, and this in turn makes us much more efficient players. I mean, why waste the extra energy of pressing down on a string harder than you actually need to? I mean, the note doesn't actually sound any better from doing this, does it? From now on, fret each note with just enough force so that it doesn't buzz, and this tip alone will save you energy and make your fretting hand look and feel a whole lot better. I'll see you next time.